Has this ever happened to you? Okay, we are playing in the 1380s, and that is after the time of troubles and before the spell plague began. What deity does your character worship? Oh, um, is there a particular one I should choose? Whatever one works best for your character. <laughs> right, okay, um, uh, Saloon? It is actually pronounced Salune, and as a goddess of creation, I assume you're focused on the stars with a vengeful hatred for the goddess Shar. Are you using the original cosmology or the retcon cosmology from the early 2000s? What? Trying to catch up on decades of D&D lore, but don't have the time? Confused with dates and events in the Forgotten Realms? Straight up don't know how to read or use a book? Rolling your miniature instead of your dice again? Bring the wrong game book to your D&D party? You need Forgotten Realms Explained. Since 2017, Forgotten Realms Explained has been helping players and game masters alike. Our instructional videos will teach you Forgotten Realms lore, history, and more. Go from rolling ones with your history checks to natural 20s in your character creation. Become interesting at parties. Did you know that Mistral died to an ancient nethery spell? She was then reborn into Mistra to protect magic and the weave. Hey, did you know that Mistral- Pets love it too. Subscribe today and become a Forgotten Realms critical success. I'll be playing a lawful neutral cleric who worships Timora, goddess of luck. Spawning from Taiki when she was split into Timora and Bashaba, goddess of misfortune. My battle cry will honor the old ways of Taiki through fortune favors the bold. Try Forgotten Realms Explained today to make your history checks natural 20s. Forgotten Realms Explained is in no way affiliated with Wizards of the Coast. The opinions expressed in this video are that of the creator, Jordan with PH is silent. We in no way guarantee that you'll be more interesting at parties, maybe nerd parties. Forgotten Realms Explained is available in all 50 states. Side effects may include a better understanding of your player's handbook, a sudden urge to explore unknown dungeons and fight monsters and dragons, the ability to convince your players to leave behind Prime Material Plane and explore the abyss, a feeling of superiority when you drop an um actually at your next D&D session. Subscribe today!